Welcome to my Scotch kitchen. I'm Daniela Forbes and today we're going to be cooking succulent Scotch lamb shanks in red wine. This dish is super easy to make and it's great for a lazy Sunday lunch or to impress your dinner party guests. This is what we're going to need. Now the idea here is to get the most meltingly tender lamb possible and the way to achieve that is with a long, slow, even cook. So we're going to preheat our oven to 150 degrees Celsius. Then we're going to use a heavy based casserole dish. We're going to pop it onto a medium heat and pop some oil in the pan. I'm using rapeseed oil. When it's nice and hot, almost smoking, we're going to start searing off our shanks individually. Pop it in, press it down, give it around a minute on that side. Okay, we really want to render some of that fat down. It's going to help to cook everything and give us that delicious flavour at the bottom of the pan. Once we've seared that now around all the edges, pop it to one side, about a minute on each side. Do the same with the next shank. This fat that's melting off will really help to give us an intense taste. Smelling great already. Finish searing off that last shank and then pop it to one side. Now we're going to prepare our vegetables. We're going to get some straightforward onions. We're going to chop them, cut them in half through the root helps you to chop them more easily. Don't worry about chopping them too finely. We want a nice rustic looking dish. We're going to turn down the heat slightly. Okay, we don't want to burn those onions. Okay, and then we're going to pop them in the pan. Give that a stir around. Okay, we want just a little bit of colour on those onions. Okay, then we're going to add the rest of our vegetables. Now we're going to add carrots into the pot, medium chopped. Give them a stir. And then we've got a selection of aromats just to bring out all those lovely flavours of the lamb shank. Pop in some rosemary, some thyme and a bay leaf. Don't worry about chopping those herbs up. All the flavours will infuse into those vegetables and meat and then we can just pull them out at the end. It makes it nice and easy. Add some salt and pepper to the pot. I'm just layering the flavour to give us the most delicious finished dish. Now I'm going to add three cloves of garlic, which I'm just going to roughly chop again. Pop them in. Just kick them gently. A couple more minutes. Now we're going to pop in some tomato puree. I love to use that to enrich a sauce. I'm going to pop that in the pan. We want to cook that off just a little bit, just to take away any bitterness. Let that cook off for a couple of minutes. Once that puree's been cooking for a minute or two, we're going to add the rest of our sauce ingredients. So we've got about 500 ml of beef stock. Again, that will really enrich the flavour and a good glass of red wine. Don't be shy. Not measuring it. Now just stir that all together to a simmer. We're going to pop the shanks back in. We're going to add the last shank to the pan. Stick on the lid. We're going to pop it into the oven for two and a half to three hours. As the meat cooks gently over a long amount of time, the connective tissues are all going to break down to give us the most amazingly tender meat. Now here it is, three hours later. Looking and smelling amazing. You can see the meat just falling off the bone. Can't wait to eat it. <laughs>